Welcome back to the channel today. We are playing Discovia Egypt. They are Discovia Egypt. Oh, audio, music, voice, volume. Wow, there's a lot of settings just for audio, which is cool. Right, how do we do this? Oh. Oh, I can switch it on and off with a button. What do you do, hand? You are good for pointing. Okay, um, how do we do this? Uh, treasure hunt discovery mode. Oh! That actually Welcome works. to the tomb of King Tutankhamun. What's that? The most well-known pharaoh in the history of ancient Egypt. It is the best preserved tomb among all Egyptian archaeological uh, to discoveries. Select, hold the trigger Feel free down. to look around and see what each item signified to ancient Perfect. Egyptian Perfect. culture. Okay, so this should be easy. Trigger, like I worked out, is my pointy finger. I'm looking at you. Oh, it's a bit iffy on the tracking. And both my track, uh, both my base stations are on. It's just a bit iffy. Um, turn your flashlight on and off. Okay, got it. To teleport to another location, hold down the grip button and press trigger where you want to move. Got it. Oh, with this hand. Woo! Ah, oh, cool. What's dark in here? Woo! Ah, oh, god damn, it's creepy in here. Woo! Look at these things. Can I t oh, can I touch them? No. Look at this! Uh, I'm going there. All right, let's poke at this thing. This is a sistrum. It was an ancient Egyptian rattle. Playing this instrument at funeral ceremonies was said to help a person's spirit exit their body. That's just creepy. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, what is this? Hello, sir! Oh, nothing moves in there. Look at this, right. Um, Let's have a look what this says. These neck rests were not only used with pillows to support the heads of royalty, but they were also thought to act as dream conduits that allowed communication with the gods during sleep. That is a massive neck, if that's a neck rest. Don't mind me. Just uh, passing through. God damn. Oh, I can really hear the winds. Oh, okay, let's get through. Yeah, there, dude. Oh, look at the shadow. Creepy. Uh, this is Tushin Common's burial encasement. What's up? He resides within three coffins of decreasing size. What? Each coffin is beautifully ornate and built to last. Creepy. Oh, what happened here? Jewelry such as this necklace was buried here in hopes that it would be carried on to the afterlife with those who are buried. Dude. Freaky. Okay. Oh man, look in here! What the hell? Are these his toys? Alright! Quite a lot of stuff in here. Woo! Some sort of model boats. Model boats were often thought to help a person's spirit move into the afterlife. It's cool. Oh man, what's in there? I want it. Let's go this way. This way. I'm to your face, dude. Uh, can I click that? Or is that too far? This boat looks to have symbolized oh. the spiritual journey of a portion of two. I just got an achievement. Journey. Discover everything. Uh, cool. 
What the bloody hell just happened in there? Why haven't your face? I can't work it out. You look like you're, de 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 you're going down or something. So, was that it? Are we all done? Weird. Okay, so I think we're actually done. Oddly enough. So if I click this button, it gives me. Whoa! What a place! Um. Oh! Okay, how do I go back? How do we do the treasure hunt? I want to do the treasure hunt. And we're still recording. We are still recording. I want to do the treasure hunt. Do we go. Do we go back out the front way? Uh, this way. No, apparently not. Hello? Alright, let's go quit. And we'll see what happens. Ah! Treasure hunt. Are we in the same damn place? Collect all the artifacts. A sistrum, a necklace, a coffin, a boat, an anibus, a necklace, and jewels. All the artifacts and jewels in your checklist before the time runs out. Got it. Oh. Grab item with your hands. Flashlight. Got it. Teleport. Got it. Go. There's one. Oh, there's one. I think I needed one of these, didn't I? Hello, bring up press trap for the list. I need a neck rest, I need some more rings, quick. This one. Ow, got that. What else do I need? Uh, a coffin, a boat, one of these Anubises. So we'll grab one of these. Got it. Uh, necklace, more rings. More rings, boats, and coffins. Go. Okay, here's a coffin. Got the coffin. Any more in there? How long do I have? How do I know how long do I have? Uh, oh god, there's the timer! You can't see it right, 80 seconds. Uh, quick, this way. Ah, there's a ring. Uh, two boats, more rings. There's a ring. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there was a ring right behind me. How many rings do I need? Two more! Ugh. Uh, boats. We needed two boats. That didn't work. The second boat didn't work. Oh, that's not good. Is it this boat I need? Yes, it was. I'm missing one ring! Oh, this is not good. There it is! I've done it! Achievement unlocked! A child's fortune! Boom! Completion time 154 seconds! I did it! Yeah! Well, this was a look at Discovery Egypt. It's fun, it's a good concept. It needs expanding, but it is really good. So thank you for watching this episode. Make sure to like the video if you like it, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.